Last time on Game Grumps. Which one? But which one? There's two of the same the picture. All right, take it easy, dude. Relax. <laughs> so worked up. Tick, click, boom. <laughs> Sorry. By strapping a ball to the body, and it's very much less successful follow-up. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Double, double on the radio! Double on the stereo! <laughs> pop, pop! Strong. There's still plenty more to go! Oh, fuck me. 30 hours of gameplay, to be exact! <laughs> oh. 100 chihuahuas combined would not be beautiful. That would be like the thing. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> 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 then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? <laughs> because frankly, I can't remember. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to the Gamiest Grumps. You'll never know. It's Game Grumps, the Gamiest Grumps. That's us. Mm -hmm. Um, so, okay, we've discovered that Junko is Monokuma, mm -hmm. and, uh, now we just need to figure out what the heck happened during our period of amnesia, um, which is the next mystery to solve. Yes, exactly. What has to- what- our entrance exam, specifically. Followed by the mystery of- uh, uh, what did I eat? <laughs> ah. Subway. Your brains are like sponges, all grippy and leaky. I already gave a hint before. All oh. the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. Do you recall? All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things. It's not vague at all. <laughs> Thinking back to what Monokuma's told us, the memories that were stolen from us and what they must be related to. Um... The, the motives? Because they talk, he talked about the motives earlier. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense here, so I guess I'll have to... Okay. okay. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? Right. So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. Yes. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. Well, thank you. Oh, don't worry Finally, about it. somebody who yeah. acknowledges how <laughs> dumb mean... it is to repeat all this shit. We're all square. <laughs> so then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? Um, family? Like, this one's more of a Greco-Roman kind of <laughs> Corinthian <laughs> columns yeah. sort of. <laughs> and this one's like bum 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 bum. Yep, you got it. It's the Batman. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? The theme of the motive. Uh. uh Jeez, that was weeks ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> um. On my DVD footage was my family, and Sayaka's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. So for the first murder, the motive we were given was... H human connections, I guess. I human guess. connections? I got it! The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. No, it's ding dong, bing Remember bong. <sighs> You're the one who says it. Yeah. Don't change it now. <laughs> Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. Uh-huh. For example, your family. Who is dead now, by the way? I should mention their death. For deaf. example, your friends. Well, Sayaka's not here, so I you don't say your all friends. I relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. Yeah, we figured that out with our big brains, thanks. <laughs> What a cruel thing to do. Yeah, it sure is. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Ugh. <laughs> She's <Hi>. no fun. <laughs> what was the theme for the second motive? Um, the second motive? What was the second murder? The weird envelopes. Oh, the weird envelopes. That was, like, suspicion. Oh, fear. Oh, yeah, the threat of the past. Yep. I got it. It was <laughs> the theme was bedwetting. <laughs> Everyone's like, what? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> what was yours? Hey. Well, that wasn't exactly.
exactly the past. I mean, I guess yeah, it is, but... Yeah, I mean, the, some of us still wet the bed, right? I mean, probably like 50% of us at least, right? <laughs> yeah. What about you, Kyoko? You seem like a bed wetter. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Yeah. Well, knowing this game, seven or eight hours. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, are you talking to Junko or are you talking to the writers? Relax, relax. <laughs> okay, on to the next question. <laughs> so, what was the motive for the third murder? Okay, the theme for the third murder was the reason Celeste turned to murder was... Well, Celeste just wanted to get out. She was just lying the whole time. Yeah. She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. Oh, so like lust or desire, greed. I got it. Yeah. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Oh, that's. Oh right, yeah, the ten million dollars. Yeah. Seek and destroy. Hell yeah, you got it again. So okay, rock and roll. What is this like biblical or something? Like who cares? Damn straight, it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. <laughs> Dude. And so, as we're coming to the end of this story, let's focus on the themes and motifs. <laughs> What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? Thank you, Makoto. Wow. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now. Can and you how did you know my cheeks are sweet? <laughs> I do have the sweetest cheeks, except when I wet the bed and get pee all over them. <laughs> Oh, what, what, what was uh, the motive in Sayaka? Was it that it made Sakura not, decide S Sakura? Not, yeah, Sakura. Was it... Um, betrayal or resistance? Oh, yeah. Yes. So the theme of the motive in the Force case was... Oh, there you go. Oh, betrayal. shit. I got it. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... <laughs> she really wanted the mushrooms on my head, and I was like, no. Yeah, can't have them. <laughs> they they give me one-ups. <laughs> that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. Mm. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, mm -hmm. those aren't the only oh, motives welcome back. that exist in this world. Ah, yes, your majesty. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel I don't think that's humans correct. <laughs> to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is probably what more like 20. <laughs> the seed of despair. The seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. Yes, it grows mushrooms out of your head. <laughs> or a crown. There the it is. Of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. No. <laughs> How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. Damn. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Damn. Byakuya just got um actual lead. <laughs> <laughs> so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? Um, probably because uh, at the beginning of the thing, they agreed you agreed to something. And plus, yeah, that you, you would never leave. Any hope anyway. Like you already knew the answer to all these things, and you agreed, and you had nothing mm. left to lose. So you're just like, yeah, I'll live here. So? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? Yes. The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking when about? When there is no escape. 
<laughs> if none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is yes. that what you're saying? That's what she just said. <laughs> like, just, just said it. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Uh, Do I understand yes. that right? Yes! <laughs> yes! Wait, wait a s- hold on a second here. Are whoa, you meaning whoa. to tell me that if we didn't not have our memories, that we would not want to leave? So, uh, let me take this from the top. <laughs> if we didn't not, 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 not have our memories, wouldn't we not want to not ever want to not leave? <laughs> one plus one is two plus three. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not Is this enough. like... I want more distress, more distress. Is, is this is this More like the village? onion, please? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> it's I I I'm starting to get the impression that this is like the village or something. Like this is this is like post-apocalyptic and like there is no outside world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who even knows? I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and putting his savings onto you, let me give you a hint. Crazy Eddie? <laughs> Th yeah. That's like a local oh, New really? Jersey. That is bizarre. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe the the localizer was a like a New Jersey born. Yeah, or New York, New York City. But I don't think there were crazy Eddies like all over the place. Wow. Boy, that's wild. That's crazy. That's as insane as his prices. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep getting lower. Okay, okay. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside. Oh, I knew world. it. I fucking knew it. Wow. You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You oh man, this is like 10 there? Cloverfield Lane. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school wall! Okay, world. God, okay, Jesus. Okay, Open come, the fucking come, door. Shit, my oh, lord. Only four more ways to say it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, this is silly. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Also, who knows if this is the truth. Like, they just start, like, like... <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. One ticket to Joker, please. <laughs> yeah, like, this isn't the, like... This isn't the, like, heart-dropping moment that I think they wanted it to be. <laughs> dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! The first thing you've ever said, Hero, <laughs> that I actually yeah. agree with. Yeah. What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something. Right? What you just saw. All of you should recognize it. Nah. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? Whose face is on all those buildings that we should recognize? <laughs> Junko's? Mukuro Ikusaba's? This whole thing is insane. The world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. Um. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lock whether you live or die. 
Couldn't they just overwhelm her and kick the crap out of her? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, gosh. No, oh, it's one of the fucking bullet ones. Damn it. Okay, let's do it. Hate these. Come on, bitches. Remember or die. That what is very disrespectful. <laughs> you want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, the genocide Jack's the only one that can remember. What's the meaning of the footage you oh. saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? So in the end, nobody uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So why wouldn't? I guess genocide Jack. Your dumbass other either. personality can remember. She yeah. Might remember. Who might remember? The other token, genocide Jack. The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge. But their memories aren't linked, right? Oh yeah, they did go out of their way to their memories to say seven. that. Yeah. Does anyone have any pepper? Then even <laughs> yeah, exactly. Forgotten, Bring me an ostrich feather. <laughs> still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my. What are you talking? Identity. It happens three times a day. <laughs> You're the only Lunch? That would be like forfeiting my entire hunger! <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly. Okay, there we go. Your friendly neighborhood serial killer. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. Well, she sneezed. I, I mean... I'm going yeah. to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Oh, okay, Mr. Boss. Do you know yeah. Anything about this oh, I guess video? he technically is when it comes to Genocide Jill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Oh, yeah. are you? Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Yeah, you know what? They would get along, wouldn't they? Yeah. That's enough. Just look <laughs> kind of sweet in a weird way. <laughs> Nope, don't know a thing. Oh, Achoo! <laughs> well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Why wouldn't Junko just say... Like, of course yeah, I do! Crap. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me! I'm the quiet type, you know? Oh my oh, yeah. god, she's the worst liar in the world! More important, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? A tragedy? Hmm. Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. Just answer the question. <laughs> what happened out there? <laughs> well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. She whiz. Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event! What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Is... now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Yeah. Destroyed? Oh, crap. Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know! <laughs> um... Copy that, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event they started just calling it the tragedy. It happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess they're putting all these cartoon bears on everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. It's like Ugh, when you're drag. getting really tired in SimCity 2000 and you're like, fuck it, and you just summon the aliens. That's what's like. <laughs> Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. Oh, okay. That's all there ah, is well to it? Come on! 
Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Marosa, it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh. oh I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the total tragedy! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it is, though. I think the destruction of the world might be the... <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? Well, I feel it matters like a little. It does. It does. <laughs> the end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how could the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. Right. Yeah, this was Every like a year ago, dude. Chill. <laughs> anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. Okay. It's, it's the, the story, story of Billy the Bull Weevil. <laughs> Peter Cottontail. Boo hippity hoppity. <laughs> what? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. <gasps> you bit into it like a middle aged secretary at an all you can eat cake buffet. Who cares? Hey, hey, That's so very presumptuous. The Togami family? Um. I can't say. Third one. Correct. Well done, peasant. Wow. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. All right, language. First Even of if all. You're wrong, eventually, <laughs> you'll figure it out, right? Till then, you're just going in circles. Oh. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? Uh. Sure. Um, but yes. Do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? It's possible. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's the bored so easy thing or the everything else about you, literally. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's terrible, but it's the fact that he's so arrogant about it, and then it's just like, nah, I, you, you you're nothing. I can confirm yeah. that his entire family has died, even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Well, technically not, because he's still around. Stop with these yeah. idiotic jokes. Stop and said with such authority. A peasant would dare challenge us, the avatar of divine punishment. So, wow. So she wiped their memories of an entire year? I guess. I, yeah, I think so. You must learn your place, peasant. You are no longer the ultimate apple and progeny. Prod, prod, progeny. They, they progeny. couldn't possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Sure. Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! Because... Because... Metal Gear Solid 2 came out a year ago! <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't even played it yet! <laughs> I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? No way! I played through Metal Gear Solid every day until today! Mistaken? <laughs> well, if I'm understanding you right... It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. Uh-uh. Y'all have been asleep for a year. A few weeks ago? <laughs> Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, I mean wouldn't they look different if they were two years older? Two years yeah. Like when you're 
15 to 17? Like, that's a big difference. It's, yeah. Two years ago, what is that? <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why- That I'm a senior in high school? Oh! Wait, I could smoke cigarettes almost, maybe? And awesome. The truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must <laughs> all the glory goes to God. <laughs> I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? The last year. Answer us. Answer with the last two years. Yeah, I guess so. For all all the years that they have been at Hope's Peak Academy, I guess because for one year it was just a normal school and they were all friends. Yeah, I think so. And then the tragedy happened, and then the people who are the ultimate despair decided to play a fucked up game. Yeah. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Anymore? Yeah, I had a handle on this situation until just now! <laughs> Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. What? Okay. Memories that were stolen from us. What Junko says is true. If we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so, the memories she took from us are life at Hope's Peak. Our life at Hope's Peak, yep. Yeah. If we accept that what you say is true. And that's a big if. Then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. I mean, no what says, uh -uh. he definitely has a similar reaction that I would. No, 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 no. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories. So I wonder when the uh, the interviews were. If it was when they actually came into Hope's Peak, or when like the killing game started. I don't know. I would assume. I would assume it was later because, uh, when he says, is it okay if you stay here, um, Makoto says, we don't really have much of a choice. Yeah. So, right. I, I, I would We've guess that too. two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy, and that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. Oh, that's like a Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> I don't remember the last two years of my life. Uh oh. That, that's not possible. But it is. <laughs> I want to think that too. I don't want to believe it. But that's not nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then like fuck, man. You have to <laughs> accept Shit. it. <laughs> Shit, dog. <laughs> oh man. Make your argument. All right. Well, oh, that's a lot of them. Probably the locker pocketbook is probably what they're gonna use, right? Yeah. Two years worth of memories. Okay. Living here for two years? Hell no! It. That's impossible. Yeah. I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. <laughs> I've never even gone to a single class. But you have! Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! At least I still can't rent a car. <laughs> but wait, there are no cars or roads! No! <laughs> I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything. <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, you were at the book fair. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, you're wrong. Hasn't this whole thing been awesome? Oh, oh hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah okay. My... I could never lose something like that. <laughs> Can you see what's happening over here? Yeah, I see a, I see a big dog butt. <laughs> she climbed right up and just knocked the microphone out of my hand. Wait, what? Oh, that wasn't right. Wait, did I shoot it with the right bullet? Maybe not. I could never lose something like that. 
Um, oh, locket and notebook and, or locker notebook and locker pocketbook are two different things. Oh yeah, the notebook was his. Yeah. The pocketbook was hers. Got it. I never got a single quarrel. <laughs> no drunk! Break. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. <laughs> this notebook right here. Oh, oh god, a notebook. Thank you. Whew. Jeez. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? Because it's yours, you- I never went to a single corner! <laughs> I was in the locker room on the second floor. <laughs> no, you're wrong! If you don't mind, <laughs> could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Oh, this is definitely my writing. Wuzza wuzza, is something wrong? Wuzza wuzza. It's kind of <laughs> similar. No, even more than that. Uh, this is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Are you laughing at the dog? Yes. <laughs> Just a giant dog face in the webcam. <laughs> Camilla has jumped up onto my lap and is like, you know, she's curled up and she's all up. She's very interested because she sees Aaron's face in the uh, computer. So... She's like putting her nose up against it, and on my side of the Discord, it's just a giant dog head. <laughs> like, oh? <laughs> oh man. Alright. It's so Lies. cute. It's a one big lie! I don't want to believe it either. I don't want to believe it. There's also no yeah. explanation for this pocketbook. I don't want to believe it either, because suddenly the gene pool that I have to choose a mate from is perilously thin. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto's like, wait, what? <laughs> and whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that? the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Well, I'll tell you what, man. The the truth I have to acknowledge is that this dog needs walkies. <laughs> and, uh, so next time on Game Grumps, we'll oh. delve deeper. Yeah, because, uh, man, I, I think there's more to this than we originally thought. Needless so, to say. So everyone send Camilla Twitter DMs about how upset you are about that she's the reason that the episode's over. <laughs> yeah. It, it's- it's- it's just so... selfish of her to pee three times a day. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me with this? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright. Uh, lots of love. Uh, we shall return. Goodbye. Goodbye. Rock and roll.